everybody, it's Rob Nazarian with Talk Android, and uh, we have the One Max here, and uh, we're showing you Sense 5.5, um, Android 4.3, and I did we did a big video with all their stuff, and um, this is a separate video we're doing with the new um, video highlights uh, that's part of it. I uh, just want to show it to you separately. Um, the camera itself isn't changed much, although it doesn't have optical image stabilization, but the software hasn't really changed all that much. It's pretty much the same. You can do your Zoe and all that stuff. And if you're familiar with Zoe, um, you know, it's a three second video with 20 images that you can uh, get. It doesn't actually record uh, all 20 images, but you can grab them full res images from the Zoe video. I'm not going to get into that because we've done a lot of that in previous videos. Um, but uh, as far as video highlights go, the gallery and stuff is, is changed dramatically. Um, you still have your events and you can um, name them and stuff right now. These are by date. Um, and um, it has a little different look and you can also uh, swipe here to go to your albums where you can see all your camera shots and all that good stuff and your shares if you've shared anything. And once you go into an event, you can go in here and right away you're going to see all the content in the event. Uh, in this particular case I've got 23 and they're all Zoe's. Um, and if I swipe over here I go to the video highlights and over here is locations. But we'll go into video highlights and already the predetermined video um, the uh, content uh, and themes and music uh, and the predetermined, predetermined video is already created. So um, Right now we are in content, and, and all the content is included, but I can go in here and, and take out, you can see the content that is included right here is highlighted, but I can go ahead and add other stuff if I want and take away things. This is much easier than in the, in the past. Um, and then you can go in here and then select the themes, and you've got, um, I don't know, I think there's uh, about let's see, six, 12 themes, um, and also um, a clean one, which I like. Um, and, uh, and each one has its own song. So there's a particular one. Um, this one here is another one, Satura. So comes with its own song, but this is what's really cool now. This is something I asked for a while ago. You can go in here and you can keep the song that comes with it or add songs from your library. You can also search your library and, uh, and there, there's a song there that I didn't have. I only got a couple songs on here. Uh, if you've already searched for it, it already shows up. So I can go ahead and tap on this and now this is going to be the song. Now what's really cool is I can also tap on it here and select the time frame I want. Now I did 19 seconds into 49 seconds. It's a 30 second video still that they do here. Uh, but you can select wherever you want. And I would imagine it would loop if you don't pick um, long enough. And if you pick sh uh, short, I mean if you pick too long, it's just going to cut off. So there you go. And then you can also do included captured audio which is cool, and then chronological playback if you want. So right now I'm just going to go, we'll go into here. Uh, we got 18 to, well there's going to be a lot of, actually let's bring it part to part where, this part here. So that works. And we'll hit done. And now we'll look at the video. And so you can really play with that. And of course, then you can go ahead and save your uh, video just like you could in the past. Now, if you want to go back to using the default tracks, because right now, if I go, what will happen is if I go out uh, to themes and I just go ahead and select something like this, that same song is going to play. And if I go into music, it's not there anymore. So this is a little not intuitive. But if you go here into the menu and restore default track, now you'll get the default track for each uh, theme or effect whatever you want to call it and then I can always change it again so now when I go back to theme and I say I go to here uh, to Windmere uh, that particular song the, the name of the song is goes along with the name of the theme so uh, that'll play so that is um, uh, is really cool um, so video highlights I know that Google has um, auto awesome movie but 
you know, this is pretty quick and easy. Of course, uh, Auto Awesome Movie has their own advantages. Uh, this you can put any song you want. You can't with Auto Awesome Movie. You have to select their predetermined pre songs. But of course, with Auto Awesome Movie, you have more control of uh, what and clips and how much of each clip and this and that. Um, but Zoe itself is just what makes it really great. Now, the other thing is that you also have with um, Zoe is um, with is you can for uh, instant for doing uploading to Google Plus. If you do that instant upload you get it, it runs into a problem in that um now we're just going to go into um i'm going to go back out to the events i'm just going to go into albums going this way to camera shots if you have a zoe it's it's uh you know it's a bunch of pictures 20 pictures and, and three seconds of video the problem is in the past uh whoops the uh problem is in the past all 20 images were recorded and uploaded to Google+. Plus. Now, they changed that because a lot of people didn't want all that storage, battery life, and all that. So when you take a Zoe, only one image is recorded. So if you want to upload a bunch of um, burst shots from a Zoe, you'd have to go in to it and actually um, go in and save it at each spot and save an image. And that's a royal pain in the neck. So um, what they've done is instead is what's really cool is you can go in to edit and create your own uh, GIF or GIF or however you want to say it. Never know which is the right way. GIF creator and it's actually pretty cool so now you can actually pick part of the clip that you want whatever you want and then you can also hit next and you can also do some different things with it like speed it up so fast mode uh, or slow mode or normal and add effects and frames it's really cool and then save it and then you can upload that to google plus so that is really cool that you can make your own uh, gifs there uh, or gifs uh, i'll just go ahead and back out now um, so that is also another cool addition. There's other little things here as well uh, that you'll find, but um, I just wanted to go over the main big changes here in um, Sense 5.5 with video highlights and uh, that GIF feature. So uh, that's pretty much it. Um, look for our full review. I hope this helps. And, um, you know, let's see some great video highlights from you guys out there. This is really one of my favorite features um, that's been added uh, by any of the Android manufacturers this year for 2013. Video highlights and Zoe is incredible um, and I don't think uh, they advertise it enough. Uh, so in any event, that's it. Look for our review. Thanks for watching. This is Rob Nazarian with Talk Android.